closer to nature you get, the more you feel like you're being transported into a different world. It's almost like you found the hidden entrance in the closet and you enter Narnia. At least that's what it feels like for me. Today we're in the beautiful outdoors again and we are in the neighborhood of the province of Luxembourg and as you can see this place is just simply beautiful. If you saw my previous video of the Adena you know that I really love shooting in the outdoors and this is something that I want to do more of. And I'm here with my buddy Kane right here. He also wants to get more into shooting photos and videos especially of his trucks and doing off-roading so yeah. You'll probably see way more of him on the channel. Links in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, make sure to follow him on YouTube. By the way, today is also the first time that I'll be shooting on the tiny Olympus XA. This is a aperture priority film camera and I'm really curious to see what this tiny thing can do. If you've seen my previous attempts at shooting film, you saw that it was not that successful. But it should be hard to fail on this camera because it's an aperture priority camera and I just set the focus to infinity and that should do the job. Also today we're shooting on Kodak Gold 200 for the first time, so I'm really curious to see how those photos are going to come out. This road was just the perfect spot to shoot some nice photos of Kane's truck. When we put the truck right in between the trees, it formed the perfect leading line. A bit later, we went to get some groceries, found a nice spot near the water and had some lunch. These kind of moments are so easily overlooked. Being outside with family, friends, your loved ones and appreciating each other and everything around you. In moments like these, I tend to forget all the ones I have in life. In these moments, I can truly be present. Sure. After lunch, we went to another destination. This place was super peaceful near this waterfall. On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. I hear the we decided to go up this hill to see what was out there. This time, we went deeper into the forest. They tell me to head your way Down your own past your gates Keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found my home Won't be long I'm there before the setting Fucking nice. Once you set foot, 
deep into the woods, you start to feel peaceful. Less noise, less people, less distractions. What do you think of this spot? 10 out of 10, boy. 10 out of 10. It's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Especially like the center line. Yeah, just look at this right here. With the leading lines of the trees on the left and on the right. Just this beautiful road going through the center. Absolutely amazing. What really amazes me about nature is how when you really pay attention, you really start to see the true beauty. Kane spotted this little beetle over here and just take a look at how cool it looks on camera. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of insects, it was truly amazing to capture this on camera. And honestly that's the true beauty of photography and filmmaking. Before I started doing this, I wouldn't have blinked an eye on looking for insects, capturing the tiniest details, appreciating nature and the woods. Enjoying these little moments is what life is all about. If you're struggling to see the beauty in life, buy a camera. Trust me, your whole perspective on the world's going to change if you love it. So you want to be a nature person, huh? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> oh, does he feel so small? My hands big. Hey guys, he was like, ah.
In this last part over here, we basically became stuck in the road. We thought we could have easily gone through the mud with its jeep, but we didn't dare to risk it since we didn't want to get stuck. So we turned back after all. The new truck came bought, however, can easily go through this mud. And here we got our last couple of dope photos. Not all film photos went according to plan, half of them turned out to be pretty good, and the other half, well, not really. Lots of out of focus ones because I wasn't paying attention to the little focus handle at the bottom of the camera, and obviously, it moved while using it. <laughs> and I also had issues getting the film roll back into the canister, surprise surprise, hence the insane light leaks in this one. All in all, it was a very awesome trip out in nature with my homie again. We made some amazing photos, had lots of laughs, and lots of good talks. And that's what it's all about.